Hello, it's your good friend Dinotar, and got something new uh, today that I'd like to share with you. Uh, going to be trying out the Bob Ross uh, Master, I think it is, uh, paint set. Uh, my daughter-in-law bought it for me for Christmas. I've been wanting this for uh, several years, and nobody bought it for me. So I've been, I went and bought it myself, and I was waiting, and finally somebody... Uh, got it for me and I can't wait to try it out uh, want to show you just a, a few things here that is the, the box it comes in and hopefully you can see the paints I did have to pick up a, a little uh, paint palette from uh, Hobby Lobby uh, this is some of the brushes that it comes with um, I did pick up a couple extra brushes and I had some brushes already because um, I do some airbrushing and uh, whatnot. And I have uh, the easel and the uh, uh, canvas. I still got to put the um, liquid white on. I haven't done anything yet. Um, I got me a, a uh, Folgers plastic coffee holder to put my paint thinner in and I custom made a uh, paint beater to beat the devil out of it. Um, I've got a few little towels here and uh, whatnot to work with and I think I'm going to watch the video one more time and then I'm going to load my palette and uh, going to try to paint pretty close to what's on the uh, box. Uh, show you once more. However, I may do a couple little tweaks of my own. Uh, I've got some plans. I've got several of these canvases ready to go. Uh, I'll probably just do this one today. See how it goes. And uh, I've got a few things that I'm wanting to try. Uh, with the Bob Ross method, it seems uh, anybody can... Uh, can paint. I've wanted to do this my whole life. I've always wanted to paint. When I was a kid, I had uh, um, posters of uh, mountain uh, scenery all in my room. Um, I've always enjoyed the outdoors. Um, so uh, the way he does the mountain scenes and whatnot, uh, I really like. And so I'm looking forward to painting some of them. Uh, I do look forward to maybe putting, I'll have to get, you know, a little experience in my belt, but look forward to maybe putting some wildlife in as well, because I really like wildlife. Um, and I may even by the end of, uh, uh, my series, I may do a few of these videos. Uh, I'm going to try a couple portraits. Uh, I've watched a few videos on it and, uh, I definitely have to watch some more and get some experience because, uh, I have not painted uh, with a brush other than a house uh, for a number of years, uh, you know, maybe 40. <laughs> so uh, it's been a long time uh, since I've did any type of uh, uh, brush type artwork, uh, but I look forward to trying it. Uh, I enjoy uh, about any kind of art, uh, so I look forward to seeing if I can actually do it. Uh, once again, uh, you can pick up the, those Bob Ross, uh, I think, on Amazon. You can get them on eBay. I don't know where and all you can get them. Um, but they're still readily available. Um, and, you know, the biggest thing that I've seen so far in my research, because, like I said, I do have uh, some other brushes that I have. Um, a little fan brush here. It's got a cushion grip. I don't know if you really need that cushion grip, but, and I even got a, uh, um, just a flat one inch brush, which this kit didn't come with. It came with the landscape brush, uh, and a two inch, uh, just squared off edge brush. So this was nice. And it's, even though it's a different color, a uh, bristle, it's very comparable, uh, to the Bob Ross. I'll let you know. It says it's a gesso artist brush. So we'll have to see. Um, I have just a big old, three inch um, painter's uh, brush, but it is very soft. Uh, and I think this is gonna be good to fluff up those clouds maybe or do some blending with. Um, 
I think it'll work out really good. And I also have a three inch uh, little short brush, uh, but it's maybe a medium. It's not real stiff. It looks like it'd be real stiff, but it's not. Um, but it's not as soft as the other one. So that's something else that I can use. I may use it to put on the liquid white with just to cover more ground. Uh, not too much, you know, just putting white on a, on a canvas. Uh, another thing that I thought about was, uh, you know, you don't get very much of this paint. I mean, I guess it's a lot, but, uh, I've been told that you can get about five, you know, uh, things out of it. We'll see because I have five or six canvases. We'll see if you actually can, but, um, you know, there's, it don't seem like, you know, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these colors. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how far they go. I know you use a lot of white, black, you know, so I may have to end up picking up some more. Uh, and these are, uh, from what I understand, not just regular oil. So you can't just run out to Hobby Lobby and buy, you know, the run of the mill uh, oil paint. It's not necessarily that it's bad paint. But this is a very thick paint, so it's specially designed to do this style of painting. And so you, if you want to get some more and you don't want to spend the money to get the Bob Ross, there are some companies, and I haven't figured out what I'm going to buy next. Uh, it just depends. I may, If I enjoy it, I may pick up some more Bob Ross um, just to support because I love his, uh, his videos uh, and hope that his uh, uh, art continues to teach others how to express their self with art uh, for years to come um but what i was going to say is uh, you know you squeeze that stuff out on that palette you can't put it back in the tube uh so i have these little containers and i picked these up actually at my, my local palette pen I, I love going to the palette pen stores and like i said i do airbrushing i'm not a professional you know but i do uh, rc car bodies and whatnot uh, haven't started trying to do any kind of portraits or pictures or paintings with it, but I've got stuff to do that too. I just haven't. But uh, so I'm going to label these and whatever paint that I have left, uh, I think I'll put it in these and seal them up so that I can use them again. It'd be a lot easier to put back in because you can't put them back in the tube. Um, and I don't want to waste any, you know, so I'm all about not wasting. But it comes with an instruction manual, and I don't know. I couldn't find my holder here, so let me see if I can. I'm wiggling you around a little bit, but I just want to flick through, and it shows you step by step how to do these uh, paintings. Um, and this will be a good reference, but I definitely recommend it comes with a video. I definitely recommend watching the video several times. Um, because while Bob Ross makes it look easy, I've watched some people on eBay do it and or on YouTube, and they do a good job. But, uh, you know, there is a technique to it, you know. So uh, it, there is a little bit of a learning curve, um, but it looks very fun, and I can't wait to get started. I right, didn't mean for this video to get as long as it did, uh, but I'm going to watch the video, and then we'll... Uh, Put up some, uh, uh, you know, some um, some shots of maybe me painting it. We'll see.